Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, if you feel the content I've made has helped you and you'd like to support my channel, you can go and click on the video description below and it will show you how to do that. Now this video is a short uh, HTX video where I'm going to show you how to set up an uh, audible warning for your battery, your flight battery. Now this will all depend on your flight controller and whether it can send back that data to your receiver and back to your radio. Um, so you would have to, to check this, but let me, uh, it's very easy to do, very quick to do. Let's switch over to the computer and I will show you how it's done. Right, you can see I've got my take aim model open. The first thing we need to do is to set up a logical switch. Now, we're going to go to logical switch 2 and this is going to be A is smaller than X and now we need to pick up our telemetry, the correct telemetry. And as I said earlier, you will need to make sure that your flight um, controller does send back this data to your radio. Some, some don't. Let's have a look. So in here, I am looking for, there we go, 16. And here, now I just want to show you the difference between these. This will be the live uh, figure. So this would be the v, uh, VX battery um, voltage as it actually is. If you pick the minus or the plus, what this does, this, this gives you the lowest and highest in that particular flight when you've been armed. So we obviously need to, we need to pick this one. Now, the voltage I'm going to pick is going to be 11.4, 11.4. Now, I've set that up quite high at 3.65 volts because I, I really do am careful with my batteries. You could obviously go a lot lower than that. So I can fly right up to that point and have no problem bringing back and landing. So that's why I put that figure in. The next thing we have to choose is the switch. So let's go and I'm going to pick my arm switch, which is switch SF in the forward position. Now, the reason I've done that is so that I don't get these warnings when I'm not armed. I'll only get the warnings when I'm armed. Now we go back to the computer. We can see we're going to put a 0.5 of a second delay. Now, the reason we do that is so that when we punch out, the voltage may temporarily drop below that 11.4 volts but then as soon as you ease off the throttle it comes back up again so we just put a delay in. Now we need to go and set up the actual audible warning. Now if we go back to the computer we're going to go to special functions. Now we must remember that was logical switch 2 so we are going to go to our next available special function and we are going to look for logical switch 2. There we go. We're going to want it to play a track and the track that I've got is you. I don't think this is a standard sound in uh, HTX, so you may have to make this. Let me FBL. Oops, no, not that one. FBL. There we go. And I'm just going to over here in the repeat, I'm going to say play once and not during startup. This means it won't give you that warning when you start up, though you should be disarmed anyway, but we can put that in there. So if I click here, Light battery low. okay, and then we should be good to go. You would get your warnings at uh, the voltage of 11.4 volts. So that's it. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.